Hi everyone, it's really wet, dark and horrible today but I'm going to have a go at doing a video with Narnia. Here you come, look at that. Oh, awful. Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. It is so miserable today, it's awful. Um, I'm really hoping it's not like this tomorrow for the wedding. I never guess what, well, I've woken up today with the start of a cold, sore throat, sore chest, pounding head, a spacey sort of head, just feel all head, it's all in your head. Um, nose is starting to go, I can feel it at the back of my throat and I just, everything's aching, all my joints are aching and I feel really like rubbish. So uh, keep your fingers crossed for tomorrow, I feel a little bit better. You might just see a little bit of movement behind Narnia. <laughs> I won't say anything, but she, because she'll be might behave while she's there. Uh, but I thought that I would um, bring Narnia on and do a different sort of video today. I thought that I'd bring her on. I put the red top on, uh, the peasant top that I got in the um, hall the other day. You have to excuse me today, brain like a sieve more than ever. I'm sorry. Um, and um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to try a few of the different things on her and um, just do that kind of a video for something different. So at the moment she's got on her red peasant top. I actually thought it was cotton, but it's a sort of stretchy fabric. It's really nice. It's got like a texture to it. Um, I don't know if I zoom in if you can see it. No, you can't. Really... Oh, you might a little bit. Look at that. It's got like a texture to it. Can you see that? It's really nice. And zoom back out. Get it right in the right spot again. There you go. Don't let hubby's junk in the corner. And then she's got like her denim blue leggings from Next. And the leggings, I think they're in the normal leggings, they're like 350, four pound. They're not expensive. And they're, they're good quality and they're nice and stretchy when you're trying to dress her. And that top was three pound. Um, they've got another one there and it's the blue one. Um, but uh, it's exactly the same, but blue. But it's got a blue background and then it's got like an animal print on the front. Uh, I didn't really fancy it, so I didn't bother getting that, but that was £3 as well. But um, I'm going to change her into... I won't lump her about in front of me, I'll just do her. I'll, I'll just, you know, change her and then I'll bring the video on. You'll, bring, you'll put the video on. So the other thing I'll change her into is the next one I'll change her into is that little t-shirt there. Chasing rainbows. We're chasing more than rainbows today. That was six pound reduced to three pound as well. And then after that, then I'm gonna try this, the um, lilac wraparound dress on her, the mock wraparound dress on her, so you can see. There you go, isn't that lovely? And then finally, um, <coughs> everyone's gonna love seeing this one on her, um, that one. And then I'll leave that one on her for over the wedding weekend because for one, I really want to see her in it, and for two, it's just nice <laughs> excuse to wear it. So um, I'm not saying anything about the little white person behind her, because otherwise um, she will start to make a fuss and we start to get excited. So I'll just ignore her and see what she does. But I'm just going to change Narnia's top, and then I'll be straight back. You don't want to see me fumbling with the giant doll. <laughs> She's going to want to get down now, anyway. Look at her. Or is she? I don't know. <laughs> um... But uh, I should be back now, two seconds. She's going to have a nosy look. <laughs> Bless. This looks really nice on her. She looks nice in navy. She's got, um, her hair needs a brush now. Dog's going to settle down now. <laughs> How sweet is that? Uh, and she's got the, um, on the front it's lovely, it's got the navy. And it gives it such a lovely contrast. Um, because you've got this, it is sort of on the surface, which I don't usually like. Uh, but all the um, glittery pastel rainbow colours are really nice. So I've got her comb. This is what I've been using for her hair, to comb her hair. And normally I spray it and I, I'll i show you what I use now. I'll just go back behind the tripod. Uh, so I'm just trying to move it up a bit, but I've tightened the arm up so it won't move while I'm moving around. There you go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? I use this detangler that I get off Amazon. Uh, Sweetheart's Hair Design Hair Detangler um, made with ethically sourced and organic ingredients but what I do is I use a little bit of it down 
and then I um I half it with water. You know, I so it's because otherwise it's gonna to be too much with the uh, babies and then I always brush. I have no clue what you're seeing, so if I put that there yeah, I can see my hand. Um I have um, I was just going to say I have no clue what you see. Oh my goodness. It's going to be worse today. I, I've i taken garlic. I've um, got my vitamins. I've got my uh, paracetamol and stuff going. I had some nice healthy vegetable soup for my lunch. You know, like a decent soup. Of not uh, Well, tin one's okay. But you know one of the ones that's in the plastic carton? Because I was feeling like it's more natural, not so processed. It might be better for... Um, you know, health wise, and get some vitamins in. Uh, but uh, it should be lovely for tomorrow. Um, you know, me looking forward to tomorrow. And hopefully, um, this awful thing would have be a little bit better. Even if I just make it to the wedding, that would be something, wouldn't it? CJs and everybody. Uh, yeah, isn't that really sweet? I like that. That's not bad for a three pound top, is it? I've forgotten to pull the bottom down, but uh, that's okay because I'm going to take it off in a minute anyway. But there you go. And she looks really sweet, doesn't she? So I'll just pop the um, lilac dress on her now. And we'll see what that looks like. It should look lovely. I'm looking at it now. And it should look really nice on her with the colour of her hair. Oh, bless. Just look at her. This is the first time I've tried it on her. I haven't tried it on her yet. And um, she just looks lovely. Uh, moved out of the way for you. Um, she looks so pretty. Um, I thought, I, when I saw it, I thought, I thought originally it was like, you know, a wrap around dress, you know, whereas it would be wrapped around and it would be open. And I thought that's okay because I can always, um, you know, stitch it a little bit if it's too much or anything like that. And I did wonder why you would have a, have a wrap around dress for a five year old, you know, running around because it'd be a nuisance, wouldn't it, with a, a real child? <laughs> I'm puff now. <laughs> um... Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, but uh, it is natural, it's a mock wrap around. And uh, if you go down to there, where the wrap around bit is, it's actually sewn underneath. And this is so pretty, it's got a, um, oh, like a crepey, muslin-y feel to it. I can't think, I can never think of the right words. It uh, must be old age or something, but the words just don't arrive in my brain these days. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't happen but um she looks really sweet um so uh I, i'm really chuffed with that it's got buttons all down the back um which makes it so easy to dress because they open so far down um the little short sleeves and then uh, you've got the frill oh that's off a tag i'll take that off in a minute i didn't realize that was still on there i thought it was a pin for a second um it's got the the neck comes from, it's stitched onto the shoulder, comes around. Yeah, it's gathered up along there, it's not elasticated or anything. And then it crosses over down there. And then the skirt is on and then the, I don't know if you can see, but uh, just on her side there is where the um, wraparound, the, the mock wraparound starts. Um, and it just looks really, really nice. And I've put her, um, just changed her to white leggings. That's why I'm out of breath, so that when I put the dress on her, I'll leave them on her then with the dress and it will cover up her, um, her cloth body enough. So uh, someone else is uh, starting to go to sleep, look. <laughs> She's quite happy there. Yes. There you go. I've never put her on before because I thought it'd be the one time that she starts to uh, run around the bed or start asking to go down and I'm in my pyjamas or something random like that, you know, so I've uh, never done it. So I'm going to um, change her into the next one and then I'm going to have a little chat. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that just lovely? I've put her on live focus video, which blues out the background a little bit. Um, so she's in the centre there, so you can see her in all her glory. And um, it's just lovely. I'll just loosen my tripod a little bit. And uh, isn't that just wonderful? That is so lovely. She's just got little socks and that on now. I'll put her little pumps on or something later. But um, she just looks amazing. I love that. That's really pretty. It's everything I hoped it would look for. Um, or look like. So when I looked, you know, found it, it's everything I'd hoped for. Um, that's what I meant. 
I can't think. I really can't. I just feel like my head is really spacey. I've got a thumping, thumping headache. Even though I've had tramadol and paracetamol, I've still got a thumping headache. Um, and I just feel rough. Hot. You're hot on enough. I'm getting hot now. Um, I do anyway, but it's a different kind of hot, isn't it, when you're not very well. Um, I just feel like I want to lay on the bed. <laughs> just lay on the bed and uh, watch my laptop all day and chill. Uh, but uh, I've got to cut Hubby's hair for tomorrow, just in case I can make it to like the wedding at least. Um, and the car, we couldn't wash that quickly on the way out. Mine just raining. It would be washed anyway at this rate. <laughs> but we can do a quick car wash on the way out. Sit there like the mayor and mayoress or something in our posh outfits. Uh, <laughs> going through the car wash. Yeah, so I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so chuffed for this dress. Um, like I said, it wasn't arriving and everything. And I, I you know, I would, I would genuinely have cancelled it. And I would have, you know, regretted it if I had seen this dress in the flesh. But at the same time, you can't be messed around by people, can you? Because the more they mess around, the more they do these things, the more they get away with. Uh, it's, you know, I've noticed now, um, I fell asleep last night with one of my headphones in, listening to um, all a few channels about all this, um, is it copper st or whatever it's called stuff for the YouTube. And uh, it's just like everyone says, it's so vague. There's so many grey areas. Uh, I've, I've put my channel on children and thought that was safe. Then I've thought, well, no, actually, it says, you know, the overall content, blah, blah, blah. So I put it back on adults again. And I'm thinking, that's okay. And then what I did then was I'm starting to work through my videos now to, um, or I had started to work through my videos and put them private, a lot of them private. Uh, the My 200 subscriber giveaway, my 100 subscriber giveaway, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, the mentioning when I won um, Antonio at Bumpy Bones giveaway, all these sort of things. And it is quite stressful, you know, I've been on here since, what is it, February, something like that. I made the first video, um, so nervous and, and so, you know, uh, frightened to do it, but, uh, and now I love it. I come on and I chat to all my friends and anyone else who wants to listen and I'm not bothered who listens. I can even listen to my own voice, which I couldn't at first. I was like embarrassed. I used to have to put the headphones on to listen to myself because I just felt, you know, like, um, like everyone was looking at me type fear, you know, it's only heavy and me here, but it felt like everyone was looking at me type fear, you know, I felt like on display, I felt, uh, you know, awkward. Um, and it's, it's done so much and I've met some lovely, lovely people. And now people are saying, this is my last changing video, Cara's put that up today. And she's put her email up. So if you go, before I forget, because, uh, you know, people are going over to Instagram more. And people are putting their emails up so that we can all keep in touch if we want to and this sort of thing. So we've still got contact. But it's never going to be the same, is it? It's never going to be the same as what we've got now. I've just changed everything now over to children's. And I'm going to put all my videos except for the most recent. I'll check them out first. But except for the most recent, I'm going to put them all private for now. Um, until I've got more of an idea of what's going on. Um, and I'm going to go that way, as you know, I say, but I'm, I'm on Instagram. If I moon button reborn nursery on there, I think it is. Um, I did have moon button, I did have 2018 on it one time, but I think they're taking it off now. Um, but if you go on my channel, um, on the header, you can click on the Instagram link and it will take you to my Instagram. And, um, if you follow mine and I'll see you come up on things and then i'll follow you back so that we can all keep in touch and also if you go on at the everyone's channel pages on their about section most people have got their video on there at uh, their video their uh, it's because i'm on my phone it's saying effect ready for the video um they've got this about section on there and if you go on there at the bottom somewhere you can people's emails are on there for contact so you can actually get the, uh, everyone's emails from there if they put them up. Mine is on there. So if you want to, you can um, email me, um, you know, that sort of a thing. Um, but apart from that, I don't really know what to suggest. Um, at the moment now, mine is on children's. Um, I'm 
don't know what to do. I don't want to take them off. I'm going to hang on to the last. I'm going to make sure that, uh, you know, I don't say anything um, that isn't child friendly and that kind of thing. Um, what I, it's like they're treating the, the um, effect, but not the cause, you know, you know, however anyone wants to take it at the end of the day, the YouTube is for adults. It's for 13 plus it counts as in America, but in the UK it's 18 plus that you're an adult. So anyone under 18 shouldn't actually be on here, um, having a channel. And then if you are on videos and things like that, then obviously you've got to mark them child friendly and you've got to follow the rules for uh, child labour or whatever the rules are to protect the kids, you know, if you're paying them, if they're actors, that kind of thing. Which is fine, you know, like you're like all of you know, I've got five children, I've got 12 grandchildren. You know, it is utmost in your mind that these kids are protected from the, you know, paedophiles and all the rest of it. But I resent the attitude that I can't have comments on on there if I go on a if they put it under children because um, it stops you contacting children and and saying things to children. You know I thought you were innocent until proven guilty, and um, you know they're treating us all as potential paedophiles and you know child molesters or going to do something to the children, and I really resent that. I resent that a lot actually. I don't like that attitude. But all it boils down to is that YouTube and Google are collecting up children's data when they are online and they shouldn't be. And they're keeping it and they're not allowed to. Because you've got to ask the parents if you can have this data, apparently, from what I can make out. I've been on, I found the um, conference where they, at uh, the news conference, when the, um, whatever it is in America, said about all these changes and everything. And I'll see if I can find it again. And put the link underneath so you can have a look and you know they're sitting there they have no idea what they're talking about they have no idea about what goes on on these channels on the internet or anything apparently it's all because of child welfare type groups in america lobbying these people you know to do more about youtube well i'm sorry but that's a load of tosh because um the children shouldn't be on there in the first place you know, the internet is not a babysitting service for your children. If you don't want to interact with your children, don't have them. You know, your children are a 24-7 job. It's never ending. Even when they're adults, they're, they are always going to be your children. To the day I die, I will be a mother and a grandmother. And I, and I am fortunate and I feel fortunate and I feel blessed. And if that's not what you want, then don't have children. Get a dog or a cat. The cat will be even less, won't it? Because they'll stay indoors all day when you go to work and this sort of thing. But you know what I'm saying? You know, I am really quite upset about it because this has been so important to me. And um, and it's like it for everyone else as well. This is where all my friends are. This is where I socialise and talk to other adults. And I'm damned if I'm going to let somebody like them stop me doing what I want to do. Um, I'll find another way to do it. And I hope everyone else does too. But don't delete your videos and things like that. If you are worried, put them on private and then try and download them. Uh, put them onto a memory stick or a SD card or whatever you've got um, so that you can keep your treasures and your memories just in case anything happens. Um, but you should be safe if they're on private and you can block edit them if you go onto your videos you can click the little square at the top and then go on what you want to edit and then you can say private on every single one at the same time and you just wait for it to go through them all but um, i don't think instagram is going to be the same i'm going to try and upload this video onto instagram as well just to try it out and see what happens but um, instagram is all about photographs and that kind of thing that's why it's called instagram you know, it's not for videos and it's not a Facebook and it's not a Twitter. And I don't like Facebook. I don't trust Facebook. I am on there, but I, the only reason I go on there is because some of my children and family are on there. And it's a way to contact and keep in touch and see photographs and things like that, which is why I got on there in the first place. It's just a way of keeping in touch with your family. And, you know, YouTube is just like Facebook, but with videos. And you just keep in touch with all your friends and all that kind of thing. And, um, you know, we all share our hobby. And now we're pushed back again to, um, like with me, I'll be on my own now. I'll be able to talk to friends on email. 
but I'll be on my own. I won't be able to talk to anybody. I won't be able to say, oh, look at Narnia's beautiful dress today. I can in a picture and I can in a short video maybe or something like that. But um, I can't, you know, do it like we've been doing it. Um, and I really, it's so important to me and I really will miss it and I am really upset over it. But at the same time, I'm not going to panic. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to keep myself safe and then I shall see what happens because this is just ridiculous. I mean, they're basically, they're wiping out YouTube. You know, it's got to the thing of like, you know, last one out, turn off the light because everybody is going in droves because they're frightened because they don't want to find or they feel stifled by the new rules. But we don't understand them yet either. That's the worst thing. And YouTube is not doing anything for us. It's left us high and dry um, from what I've seen. Um, basically, they've been told and they've been told about it. But I don't really see what they could have done because, you know, they've done everything that everybody else done. You know, videos are marked 18 because they're for adults. Games are marked 18 because they're violent and they're for adults or they're sexual or whatever it is that they have to be 18. And yet, you know, they do get bought for children. They do get, you know, children do play with these things. Um, you know, they because it's like everyone else is playing Fortnite, so I want to play Fortnite. I'm sure Fortnite is an 18 plus if you look on it, or maybe a 12, something like that. But I'm sure, um, I wasn't happy when I found out, you know, that some of the grandchildren are playing it. But, um, there's so much pressure today on the parents, so that side of it I can understand. But you can limit it, and or you can you can't jump back up there, silly. You can limit it, or you can, oops. Um, just a sec for she hurts herself so anyway so go online and find out for yourself and do what you feel is right don't panic don't you know listen to scaremongers and this sort of thing but just do what you feel is right and make sure you feel that you're doing the right thing and protected um like i say i put mine on children's now so at some point they'll either take me off or they'll put me on where all my comments are disabled um, but then, you know, I still enjoy watching Diana Reed and her, her child's been um, comments disabled because of people saying horrible things and language and she doesn't want children seeing it in case they go on there for a long time. And I still enjoy her videos. You know, we can still enjoy each other's videos. And then if you've got the emails, you can, you know, talk to whoever you want to as well. So I'm hoping that that's how it's going to work out that... Um, we can come on and even though we can't comment we can talk about a lot of things and then you know we can also answer back in emails so you can say like, oh yeah you know like i don't know just for something random uh something silly oh it was lovely to see lexi today uh, or i was watching d at moon buttons video today and it was lovely to see lexi and that kind of thing you can still interact but it just depends what happens really and we'll just have to see so um you know it's a real shame and uh I'm not happy about it because the next thing is, once they do these things, it sets a precedent, doesn't it? So next it will be uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know, the world is getting ruled by children and us adults are not going to have anything. I mean, someone on one of the videos underneath made the comment, I got so irritated about it being all old people. And I'm thinking, well, I'm older. Just because these people are in suits and they don't understand what's going on or they just have to say what they're told to say in front of everybody um doesn't mean it's all older people you know the young ones have got no experience they think they know it all but they've got no experience so maybe that's where it comes from but um you know it's sad when you see people like Suzanne at uh, Bunting Baby's Nursery or Baby's Bar I'm sorry Suzanne I always get it wrong unless I look at it I just can't get it right it's just gone that way in my brain and she was saying, you know, maybe it might be her last one today and this sort of thing. Then I come on thinking to do this video. So I put my uh, laptop on YouTube ready so that when I did this, I would go and upload my video. And um, Cara's on there. I haven't watched it yet, but she's saying it's her last changing video. Um, and she's put her email up in a description box. So that means, you know, she's thinking the same, even though I haven't watched it yet. It's obvious, isn't it? But as I say, you're welcome to uh, come along to my Instagram and I'll look out for everybody on there too, just in case you pop up. Um, and also you can email me and I will, um, you know, 
email you and and we'll all try and keep in touch that way and keep it going and in some ways it'll be nice because <clears throat> excuse me you know you can chat off of um youtube whereas people you really like you don't always feel like or you've got quite friendly with you don't always feel like you should um look for their email and unless you you know you think it's really important um it, it sort of feels rude not to be invited doesn't it you know it's just that kind of thing <coughs> excuse me um but um you know we'll just have to muddle through and do our best i'm sure certainly will come of it we need someone else to uh do something like base in the uk because google and uh not to be insulting to you know all my us friends but it would be under different laws so uh, maybe it would be okay but obviously you don't just start something like that do you you would otherwise i would i'd say here you go you know uh, I mean, if you do a blog, that's even worse than a, um, I don't mind doing a, a, in your blog or a vlog or whatever you want to, it would be counted as with videos on it. Um, I do that all the time and uh, put stuff on there and I could write stuff on there as well. But, you know, and, and about different things and show you things and give you um, patterns and different things like that. I do that quite happily, recipes, patterns, things about the dolls information all sorts of things and a little chat and a little video and some pictures and where to find this that and the other and i'd be quite happy to do that but the thing is youtube has taken over from that sort of thing now hasn't it and no one's doing that anymore as such and then you've got to go and find the the vlog and you've got to you know go back and forth and you've got to you know do all that thing to set it up and i think not everyone's going to be able to do it i've never done one before i'd have a good go mind but um um you know not everyone is going to be um you know technically able to do that kind of thing but i just think it's such a shame so you know do you want i'm hoping it will be that we can go on children's um i'm frightened to go back on adults now i've gone back and forth i've said yeah i've gone on adults and then i've thought saw something else and i've gone on to children i just want to be safe until i find out what's going on so i decided in the end that i'll go on children and i'm going to go through my videos and um, put a lot of different ones on private. I'm not going to delete them yet. And uh, then just see what happens when it all starts in January. We've still got time. We've still got um, Christmas and that kind of thing. I mean, I think something's coming on December the 12th, somebody was saying. So, uh, but it's confusing. Uh, you know, YouTube just left us up in the air. They give you the basics, which are really vague. There's a lot of grey areas. Nothing makes any sense. And, um, you know, another thing as well, if people are earning their living off it, uh, I was watching one man last night who does videos and by the look of it, he makes models and different things. I think it was Lego and that kind of stuff. And sometimes he has his son on there. So, you know, he's quite happy to go on the children's, but he said he's going to lose 95% of his income now. So he's not going to be able to afford <clears throat> to carry on with his channel like he was before because it was his job, you know, this sort of thing. So they're just ruining everybody. You know, it's just, it's, it's a nightmare. So, and also all that's going to happen is the children are still going to go on there, but all the, all the content in there is going to be really adult. You know, it's going to be really adult on there. It's going to be, uh, you know, more swearing and adult themes and all this sort of thing, you know. So uh, it's just going to backfire. It, it really is. It's just going to backfire. It's going to be worse than ever. So basically it's going to be the end of YouTube. Um, there is somewhere you can go and sign a petition and there is somewhere you can go and uh, give your two pennies as we say over here where you can say your views on it and why you think it's wrong and everything so I saw them last night and I did fall asleep uh, watching these sort of things and when I woke up this morning and I had a pounding headache and I felt really tense and odd colour I thought that was why because I'd fallen asleep listening to all these things, binge watching about these changes in YouTube and I thought, oh, that's no good. I need to uh, go and um, do something nice and play with the babies or, you know, think about tomorrow or do different things um, and uh, get out my brain. But there's a day I'm going on, I'm feeling worse and worse and worse. I, I really don't feel very well now. So we just have to see tomorrow, but I'm hoping I'll make it to the wedding if nothing else. So there you go. So I'll leave it there for now because I'm on 21 minutes. I know how to read what how far I'm along now. <laughs> I can see it on this phone. It didn't have it on the last phone, so I never knew how long I'd been chatting away for. And sometimes it would be surprisingly quick, especially when I first started. And then other times it would be, you know, uh, ages. And I wouldn't have realised. I would think it was 10 minutes. It'd be like 28 or something. 
So um, I hope you like seeing Narnia today and um, the little white person over there, my little white dog. When I used to uh, make uh, bespoke dog collars, I used to have a website and it was called The Little White Dog. And on the front, I found this little quote from somebody, the name escapes me now as editing Thursday's these days, but it says, my little dog, a heartbeat at my feet. So on the front, at the bottom of the page, I had a little picture of a little white dog and, um, you know, that written underneath. And then I had all my handmade colours on there. Um, and that was my website. And I, I did enjoy doing that, but nobody bought anything. So uh, <laughs> I had to shut it down. So anyway, so there you go. And uh, I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Um, try not to worry too much about all these different things. Um, we just have to take it on a chin and see what will survive. Um, hopefully we can still keep in touch to a certain amount on uh, Instagram. At least we can see each other and things. Don't you jump down, Lexi. I'm going to go now before she jumps down. So take care, everyone. Bye for now. Lots of love. Bye.